This tutorial will demonstrate how to export your project, your Camtasia Studio screen recording, how to export that as a QuickTime file. So notice here I have the Camtasia Studio uh, opened up here and what you will do is go ahead and do your recording and when you are finished your, your recording of your desktop then it'll ask you to save that file and what you will do is you'll save that file and it'll save it as a Camtasia recording file as you see right here. Uh, then it's going to ask you if you'd like to edit that Camtasia recording file. Go ahead and hit yes and that will place the file within the Camtasia project editor where you can begin. Now notice there's two types of files you're working with now. First you have your Camtasia recording file. That's your screen recording. Uh, but then that's also put within the Camtasia project file that you see here. So if I were to do a file save as, it's going to save this project file so you actually have two files. Now it should automatically place your recording down in the timeline. Uh, but mine is not and if your isn't notice here that I cannot select the produce video as because there's nothing in the timeline. So if you notice that what you need to do is drag your recording down into the timeline. I uh, here will ask on terms of the editing dimensions. In this case uh, we'll use the CD 800 by 600. OK is fine and OK is fine there. Now notice that because I have something down here my produce video as is available. Now at this point after you bring your Camtasia recording file down you can do your editing within the recording. So if you'd like to edit out some audio, add some music, maybe cut out sections, maybe it was too long, maybe you wanted to delete, uh, delete a section in the middle, you could do all that using the timeline. Uh, for this tutorial though I want to stick with the production options. And so when you're finished doing all of your editing, editing then you will do the produce video as. This will give us the production wizard. Uh, in our scenario right now we want to use a QuickTime file so we're going to do custom productions. Uh, if you get this that's okay hit yes and then go ahead and we will select next under the um, other formats we want to use a movie QuickTime file you're sure welcome to go ahead and try out some of these other file formats just to see what the end results look like but for what I want is the movie QuickTime file so I'll hit next then I want to go ahead and change my QuickTime options so select that and here you have the QuickTime movie settings. Uh, first I want to click on the video settings and this deals with the compression type and so I want for this video it seems to work best to use the H.264 which is a, a very good and high quality compression format so hit OK there. The rest of the options you can leave as the default and then down on sound you want to click settings there and it seems to work well to use the MPEG4 audio and then go ahead and hit OK. Once you change those two things you can hit OK and then next. Here we have our video size in this case we can use our pre uh, here we have a preset video size of 640 by 480 I'd like the 800 by 600 so you could either custom put that in or we can go ahead and select it right here either one will be fine. I'm going to do next under the video options you don't need to change any of those things go ahead and hit next and then under the marker options you can leave those alone as well so hit next then in the end we have our output file this is where the production name the name of this and so I'll just call this demo 3 is the name of this you can name it word tutorial text 290 tutorial uh, whatever you like to do there now the important thing is the folder to which this is going to export to notice down here it's going to create the movie the demo 3.mov file and it's going to place it within a demo 3 folder now it seems to work best to go ahead and choose your desktop. What we found is if you uh, are using my documents and specifically if it ends up on a network, my documents like mine are, uh, you typically get a QuickTime movie number 50 error and it doesn't export correctly. And so in terms of the folder and the location of the folder, it seems to work very well to go ahead and just use the desktop. So select your desktop and leave that the name Demo3 alone and hit save. So now it's going to put that folder on my desktop. That's the important thing there. Then once you're done with that, you can go ahead and click finish and the rendering project uh, process will start. Depending on the length of your movie, this may take a good couple of minutes for this whole rendering process to go through. And so just be patient with it and hopefully it'll move right through. Um, and so we'll just give this a second. OK. 
Okay, now that it's finished, it's, it gives me the production results, all the information that I see here. It should also go ahead and bring up that uh, movie file that you see here that I could go ahead and play. And the last thing that I want to show you here is go ahead and you'll probably want to save your project as and go ahead and save that. And then you'll notice on your desktop you'll see a demo 3 folder. Inside the demo 3 folder, you will find the QuickTime movie recording. Go ahead and open that up, watch it, make sure everything came through, the video is correct, the audio is correct, and then you're finished with the export. Then your next step is going to be to burn that to a CD, which I will demonstrate in the next tutorial.